Hi, this is Cardina with cardinaskitchen.com and easyveggiemealplans.com. And today we're going to show you how to make a blueberry banana smoothie. And it's great because it's high in antioxidants and tons of great nutrients and lots of fiber. So I think you're really going to like it. It's out of my Easy Veggie um, Meal Plans, so which is a vegetarian weight loss program, a 90-day um, weight loss program. And this particular one that I'm doing is the female version, which means the calories are around 350 calories for breakfast. Um, but I also have the men's version, which is a little bit more calories. And uh, the, the, the nutrients are balanced out, the carbs, the protein, and fat, and the ratio that your body needs. So I think you'll really like it. And uh, we're going to get started. We're going to use my uh, Magic Bullet blender here. And I got this for Christmas from uh, my friend Paulette. And I didn't know that I needed this appliance until I got it, and I love it, and it's fast. So when I'm, when I'm in a hurry to run out the door, this is amazing. So you'll see, too, once we, uh, we get it all packaged up and uh, run out the door with it, I'll show you kind of how that works at the end. Once you look at the video, go to the blog post, and I'll have the exact portions written down for the male and female version. So check that out. And that's at cardinaskitchen.com. So we're going to start with half a cup of organic blueberries. And I get frozen right now, at least. And these are great organic frozen blueberries, which are typically cheaper than getting fresh. And it's hard to find fresh as well. So those work really great. So funnel those in there. We're going to do half a cup. And again, this is the female version. I guess because I'm a female, I just decided to do it. And then we're going to do half a banana. I, I prefer that you get organic as much as possible. At least I try and get organic as much as possible. And, uh, and then we're going to do two teaspoons of flax seeds. These are the brown flax seeds. So I think you can see those. These are great for your essential fats as well as fiber. Okay, so two teaspoons. Put them right in there. It's a little extra fiber. The blueberries have about four grams of fiber per cup as well, so they're an excellent source of fiber. Um, and then we're going to do some sort of sweetener. And you can use dates, you can use raisins or stevia. And this is um, stevia, as you can see, but it's green. And this is actually the green powder, so. All they did is they took the green leaf, which is an herb, stevia herb from South America, and they dehydrated it, and that's it. So um, I'm just going to add a touch in there, and it's still very powerful, so you don't need that much. The white crystallized stevia is processed, and so my goal is to eat things in its most natural form, and they have the highest nutrient value as well. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit of almond butter. It's going to be two teaspoons of almond butter. Alright, um, that looks about right. <laughs> That's my measuring. Alright, and then I'm going to put in some rice protein powder. There's quite a few, uh, not quite a few, but there's several uh, protein powder, vegetarian protein powders out there. This is a rice protein. You could also do hemp protein, you could do a um, pea protein, um, there's a couple other ones out there, but today we're going to use rice protein. And this one is by Nutribiotic, and, and it doesn't have any of its own sweetener in it, so that's why I added the stevia. So that's about two teaspoons, and we're going to do a, a touch of cinnamon, because I love cinnamon, and it's actually good for um, restoring the pancreas and increasing circulation. All right. And I'm going to put a little cayenne in there as well, just a dash. Don't be shy. That also helps to increase your metabolism, increase uh, the body's ability to carry oxygen. It helps drive nutrients into the cells as well and helps cut fat in the blood. One thing we haven't put in is our greens. I, I'll, I like to uh, green up my smoothies as I say. So we're going to green it up. And there's two ways I could do it. So I could use spinach. I have organic baby spinach. 
or I have, this is called Earth's Promise and it's a green powder. It has um, some, some berry antioxidants as well. It, your, your health food store or local store is probably going to have some sort of um, green powder. And so this time I have this one. Sometimes I'll just have barley grass powder. Sometimes I'll find another mixture that has a different variety of herbs and greens. So I might have wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa grass. Maybe it has some cleansing greens like dandelion or milk thistle, which are great to cleanse the liver as well. Some have probiotics in it or enzymes or antioxidant rich um, berries. So, you know, I like to get a variety that way I make sure and balance out my diet and make sure I get all the vitamins and nutrients I need. So, I'm going to do both just because I have them here. So, I'll do about a teaspoon, one to two teaspoons. And I'll do some spinach just because I can. But you can see, like, this is about, this is going to be about 350 calories. And look how small of a cup it is. So you want to make sure you're not overdoing it or eating too much for breakfast. My clients tend to think because it's so healthy they can just make these huge blenderfuls and it's okay. But I've had some t ask me whether they st start gaining weight. And so I, I had them look at their smoothie and how much they're, they're, they're making. And they're making like 800 calorie smoothies. So you got to watch out for that. Um, so we got everything in here. So I'm going to just add some water. You can add ice if you want. Um, but because it has blueberries in it already, which are frozen, that, that makes it really cold. So that's, that's actually um, all I need. I don't want mine too cold. So I'm just going to add water. This is my little water cup. And then we'll be ready to blend. That's probably good. And here's my blade. Okay, so just flip this upside down. We're going to blend it. Okay, there we go. So what's really cool about this is if you're in a rush in the morning, you just take the, the blender uh, blade off. And then we have another attachment here. It's actually just it's like a little sealed lid. Alright, you just set that right on put it right on here and you're ready to go you know you just all you have to do is rinse this off rinse the blade out and you can run out the door right now all right so here we go this is the blueberry banana smoothie with lots of fiber and yummy green green nutrients so um, and, and you know you can see that is about 350 360 calories right there so that's that's a breakfast you're ready to go. So, thanks for joining me for uh, our super healthy smoothie. And uh, please check out some more recipes and information on cardenaskitchen.com. And have a great evening.